Hi everyone, Terry Davis here with Profound Talent. I want to talk to you about sales today. So my background has been uh, basically recruiting for 20 years, career coaching for 20 years, but previous to that I was a sales professional for a couple of very large organizations. and. I wanted to share with you the importance of selling. So a lot of people have the function of being a sales professional in an organization and they actually do that as their job. But for many people, you don't have that opportunity to be a sales professional or you don't quite frankly even want it. And why is that so important to have the skills of a sales professional? Well, it's going to help you in every aspect of your life and in your business. And the reason being is when you are out looking for a job or you are in an organization, you are always selling you and your company. So whether or not you hold the formal title of a sales professional in business, you are always still selling. So whether you are a receptionist or the director of first impressions in an organization or you're an accountant that is collecting maybe on some bills or what have you, you are always representing your company. You are always selling your organization. And in recruiting, we are always selling our, you know, talent to organizations. We are always selling our own background and skill sets to be able to bring in those opportunities. When you're out looking for a job, you are ultimately selling you. You're the product. So it is important no matter what position in life you are in, you need to have a background in sales. So let me share with you something about sales. A lot of times people will just push, push, push their information onto people. And pushing it is not necessarily going to give you a successful sales result. And the reason being is because you don't understand the need. So the most important thing when you are looking to actually sell somebody something is to take the time to actually ask questions to listen, to understand what their challenges are. And their challenges are ultimately telling you what their need is. And if you have a need, then ultimately you can sell to that need. And ultimately you're solving the problem of that need. So you're solving that person's challenge and that ultimately is going to make a successful sale happen. Now, the challenge a lot of people will have is they'll say, well, I don't really want, you know, I don't like to push my stuff on people and I don't want to, you know, ultimately tell people they need to buy this. Well, that is a mindset change that you have to make. Um, selling is not about pushing product or solutions onto people. It's about actually, again, figuring out what their challenge is, what their need is, and ultimately helping to solve that need. And when you help solve that challenge, then ultimately you are going to have a successful sale, but you're also gonna have a really happy customer because they needed you to solve something for them, and you did. And so now it's a win-win for everybody. They've had their problem resolved, and you've ultimately resolved it and actually achieved your sale goal. So I wanted to share a bit about sales because when I am talking to people in the career coaching program, they often do not understand why they have to network in the market, why they have to sell themselves on paper, how to actually go out and have conversations with people, how to pick up the phone and make a phone call and have a discussion around uh, the company, the business and the opportunity. And so it is a mindset that we have to all enter into is that we are not selling. And that is a traditional way of looking at it. It's uh, ultimately a mindset change. We are actually solving problems and creating solutions. And those solutions bring happiness to the people that we are actually solving the problems with. And ultimately you're going to win because you're going to actually have a sale. So if you're out looking for a job, how this translates is if somebody needs your skill and you're able to identify that when you have conversations with them and you're able to then highlight your skill with them, then they are going to say, wow, you've got exactly what I need to solve my problem internally. Why don't you come join us? Well, now ultimately you've sold something. You've sold you. So 
Just to make this even more clear and simple, if you go into a car dealership and the salesperson just immediately walks up to you and starts saying, hey, come look at this fancy sports car that I have, and they don't bother to ask you a single question about what it is you're looking for, what your need is, then chances are they're not gonna sell something. Maybe you're in there looking for the minivan that's gonna have safety in it because you need to transport your family of children around, and the last thing you're interested in is looking at a sports car even though it might look really flashy and fun but you actually need a minivan and if the salesperson doesn't take the time to listen understand what your needs are and they just start showing you the flashy sports car the chances are you're gonna say thank you very much and you're gonna walk out the door and that's the end of the sale and there is no sale if they take the time to get to know why you're there what you're looking for how it would help your family situation and they show you a plethora of minivans that have high safety factors in them and ultimately are the right color you're looking for chances are you're going to get the they're going to get the sale and you're going to get your minivan so that's just giving you a little bit of perspective so Again, sales is important to learn. It's not something that everybody has a uh, skill in or knowledge in, but that's just a little snippet to get you understanding how to shift your mindset that you're not always selling yourself, but you're actually solving problems for other individuals and you happen to be the solution. Mm -hmm.